Hi, I am drawing a class diagram for online shopping system. Uh, classes form a very integral part of object oriented programming and uh, they are extensively used in Java, .NET, C++ and other programming languages. So first we have created uh, one class. I am giving it a name login now I'll draw customer and administrator uh, I'll show the usage of generalization so I'll put a class here and call it user uh, customer and the other class is admin uh, everyone who logs on to amazon.com is a user whether it, it could be an admin or it can be a customer but after we log in they check the profile and check our security accesses access on the based of on the basis of our access we are given either the customer rights or the admin rights so user is a general class and customer and admin are more particular class we can call it derived classes also base class and derived classes so I'll connect these two by using generalization I'll merge these two arrows just to tidy up the things Now I'll make a class, it's called cart and it's to show the relationship connector called composition. Composition is a tightly coupled relationship connector. So uh, if we are connecting customer using composition, uh, it means that uh, customer has a tightly coupled relationship with a cart. I already created these document these classes I'm creating a class over here these are the data types and these are the methods for for shopping cart class We are using <coughs> composition here because for every customer there could be only zero and one cards and every card can only belong to one customer. So if the customer gets deleted its shopping cart should also get deleted with it. So it's a tightly it's called tightly coupled relationship and uh, the, the black diamond here it shows that customer has more power than the shopping cart in this relationship and I'll add multiplicity also here so a customer can have zero and one shopping cart and every shopping cart could only belong to one customer
and uh, in the next tutorial i'll try to cover association aggregation and interface thank you for watching this tutorial thank you bye